Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today marks the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. But in Alberta, we seem to be sending mixed messages. Last Friday evening in Calgary, we honoured uh, strength and diversity at the Immigrants of Distinction Awards, while on Saturday, a small but vocal group of people celebrating racism again marched through our streets. To the Minister of Culture and Community Spirit, other than slogans and special festival days, what is your ministry doing throughout the year to promote and preserve and protect Alberta's diverse cultural heritage? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, we're doing a multitude of things. As we debated the Human Rights Bill here a couple of years ago, I said that we needed to have administrative changes so we can improve the efficiency and equity of the Human Rights Commission. So what we did is we brought a, a federal judge to oversee the commission, and we were able to, uh, through a um, national search, attract a director of uh, national significance, Philippe Rebeau. What we've done is we've separated the commission from the department physically. We've added new resources to the, both the director and the chief commissioner. In addition to that, Mr. Speaker, we have provided the Honourable Member. Thank the you Honourable very Member. much. Uh, to the Minister of Education, given that immigrant students represent the highest statistical dropouts or failures to achieve high school in three years, followed closely by First Nations uh, individuals, what is the Minister's rationale for undermining language acquisition skills through further cuts to ESL second language support programs? Right the Honourable Minister. Well, first of all, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, I don't know what the Honourable Member means by further cuts. I'm not aware of any earlier cuts. What has uh, been proposed in this year's budget, and we'll have opportunity to discuss that uh, uh, during estimates, is that the enhanced ESL grant will be eliminated. Uh, members should be aware that there is an ESL grant of about $1,155 per student uh, to, for language uh, uh, education. The enhanced grant was put in place a few years ago in order to assist school boards to prepare and improve their techniques for teaching uh, English as a, a second language for uh, immigrant students. The, the Honourable Member now, please. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, this next question is to the Minister of Employment and Immigration. Mr. Minister, given that many in your government caucus have personally experienced the challenges faced by new immigrants, uh, especially around functional English language literacy, can you justify your ministry's cuts to English as a second language training programs? The Honourable Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, there is a topic I can speak with a reasonable amount of expertise, uh, having arrived in this country not speaking one word of English. Mr. Speaker, I have to tell you, not only my personal, but this government's commitment is not only to providing integration services to our immigrants, but to actually attract immigrants that will be stimulating our economy for many years to come. However, Mr. Speaker, that member would be interested to find out that immigrants learn in many different ways, and we're exploring ways that are actually very accessible to our immigrants.